We are back with the Pokemon Academy Life, guys. Welcome back. Um, unfortunately, last time I played this game, I might have actually messed up my audio pretty bad. So you guys won't get exactly what happened last time to compare to this one. It's gonna be kind of weird, but I'll explain while I'm in. Uh, we got Mudkip and all that. We saw the exhibition match, which is pretty cool because Boo Boo was there and all that. It was it was a lot of crap. I'm just kind of upset about it, but I mean it is what it is. You, when you do this YouTube thing, there's chances are that you might end up messing up something. But anyway. We'll just continue from there, and if there's any questions and concerns you guys got in the comments, make sure you guys mention them, and I'll answer them as quickly and precisely as possible if you have any questions. Now, anyway, let's jump into the game. Shouldn't be a problem. I hope. Hey, isn't that the guy who got chewed out yesterday by Lance? Which, by the way, that was pretty sick. You guys, I'm so sorry that you guys can't see it, because... What? No, that guy had red hair, and he looked stabby. Wait, the student with the red hair was a guy? But her hair was real long, wasn't it? I don't know, maybe there were two students yelling at Lance? I wasn't really close enough to hear. God, can you imagine yelling at a teacher like that? Some jackasses with more money than sense think they can do anything in this school. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's how I feel right now. Well, I guess what happened yesterday did happen in front of countless other students, so I can't say I'm too surprised. Okay. Oh, I have patience, courage, I'd better handle this? Oh, uh, should I have patience? I mean, hell, I have courage, bro. Still, I better handle this. I mean, I handled it with Lance. I mean, truthfully told, I, I had the courage. I just have to step up. Okay, cool. I stepped up. Am I gonna... You guys, I... I'd say you two are real jackasses here. Ooh. Huh? Okay, I guess the decision was made for me. What did you say? So, you turds are deaf too, huh? I'm not surprised, considering anybody with normal hearing would gouge their ears out after listening to the way you douchebags talked. What? What's your problem? Her problem? What's your problem? You guys barely even know what happened, but you're sucking up to Lance? You creeps really think a two-time regional champion is a couple of twerps like you stepping up to beat for him? <laughs> Get real. Yeah, you don't even know who's at fault. You just want to seem like you're on the stronger side. I really hate dealing with stuff like this so early in the morning. You guys better beat it before I get angry. Get out of here! Go on, scram! <laughs> This is our classroom too, you crazy. Never mind. Assholes. Oh. Uh. Ah, I was smiling after that too. I'd have been like. Oh, hi, Sai. Ready for another jolly fun filled day of learning? I, uh. Yeah. Hey, Whitney Flannery. Uh, thanks for that. I'd like to say I prefer to fight my own battles, but I really appreciate it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! She meant to say, not a problem, Sai. Sorry, she gets a little shy sometimes, especially when it comes to stuff like this. I do not! Anyway, take it easy, Hotshot. Try to let those insecure idiots get to you. You live how you want. Besides, we can let those jerks just badmouth that red-haired girl like that. You see, I personally prefer this. Like, you should have saw, like, Brendan, the three homies that were in my dorm, they didn't even bother to stand up for me that time. Like, literally, Lance was making me and Pikachu look like we were going to fail from day one. And everybody else was just watching and shit, bro. Even the homies, even Brendan, even Ethan, even freaking Caleb. Like, they were all just watching. And these two right here, they are right or die. They, they, they're right here to your boy. We redheads have to stick together, after all. <sighs> Should I tell them that Silver is a guy? <laughs> nah, this is funnier. Good morning, Sai, and good morning to you too, Whitney and Flannery. Good morning, Leaf. No, it isn't. You should be getting to your seat too, Sai. Class is starting soon. Oh, thank you, Mother. I know I haven't spent much time with Whitney before, but I never expected her to be so charismatic. Whitney, class is starting. All right, talk to you later, Sai. Okay, Whitney is charismatic. I gotta say, those two renown my faith in humanity, at least for a little bit. You spot an unfamiliar student and go to greet her. Welcome to the Psychic Elective, guys. Hi there. Oh, Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina looks so good. I love her model. Like, that whole dark hair, red eyes, I'm just... Um, hello? You want to know who I am? Uh, yeah. Sabrina. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sabrina. You have what you want. You may go now. What? Damn! I mean, I was very hype and giving you compliments on your model, and you can't even bother to. <laughs> Yo. Uh, all right. See ya. Oh, whoops. Drop my pencil. 
Oh. What? Uh, do you have an Abra or something? Wait, you're not doing this, are you? Oh my god, you totally are. You dropped this. Uh, oh, that's my... my pencil! Yes, we've established that. Okay. Well, you want it back? Take it. Y yes, sorry. Thank, thank you, um, Sabrina. What? H how, how are you able to do that? You don't want to know. I really do. No, you don't. You're trying to figure out how to shift the conversation to you telling me your name. Unnecessary. It's Sai Senpai. Oh my god, this bitch is dissected my whole thought process. Yo, she is sick! Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, ha have you been reading my mind? Obviously. Uh, hmm. I feel that's a violation of my privacy. You figure out a way to make me stop, and I will. Wait, so it's not up to you? Y you can't stop reading minds? Yes. Crap, so I really need to be careful what I think around her. Yes. Oh, oh shit! Oh, did she just read that? Like my self monologuing narration just then? Bro, oh shit, uh, forgive me for this. What are you expecting me to call you, a pervert? I, I, I mean, it, 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 it'd be fair. It's not your fault. It's natural. Really? That's, uh, that's really understanding of you. If it was Misty, she'd be having my ass. I understand people more than anyone else. I wish I could stop. Don't you dare think that. What? 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 You can't help me. Whoa, no one can. We can fix her, right, guys? We can fix her. You're just giving up? Allow me to make a correction. Stay away from me. That's how you can help. Damn. Of course, a future champion isn't giving up that easily. I'm sure she read that. Did you read that, Sabrina? A future champion is not giving up that easily. Hey, Ethan. Of course, you're in the same class as me like you were in the last couple of episodes of Pokemon Academy Live. Salutations, my students, and welcome to your psychic class. New students? Wait, don't tell me. Ethan and Sai. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Great Will, your teacher. For this class, we will not only be learning about psychic Pokemon, but we will also be training your innate psychic powers as well. Our psychic powers? I think my dad got me meds for those. Unbeknownst to most, every living being in the world has psychic potential. The power is just hidden away, and it will be my job to bring it out of you, to increase your natural focus. It's your folk if your focus is too weak, your telepathic bond with your Pokemon will be severed easily. As you can see, I am quite the capable Esper. Oh, wow, that's really cool a and a bit terrifying. Incredible instructor, Will. Not even my little Mooney can do that. Thank you, thank you. If you want to achieve this level of telekinesis, you must underst understand the steps of ESP. The first step to using ESP is to practice meditation, and to meditate efficiently, you must have solid concentration. In order to have a solid concentration, you must rid your mind of distractions. Distractions come in many shapes and forms, but mostly they are... This all sounds like a load of baloney to me. Dude, he just lifted a bunch of books into the air in front of us. Eh, he's probably got an espion hidden under that desk. Now, for our first exercise, I want you all to close your eyes and concentrate all your thoughts on one thing. It doesn't matter what, as long as it's the only thing you're thinking about. This way, you can attune yourselves to your natural focus and bring out your inner telekinetic powers. Cool, guess we're doing this. Oh, if I do this, I can't read. Oh, eh, what was that? Right, that's enough of that for now. Open your eyes, students. Let's move on to basic telepathy theory, shall we? In between the various mental exercises, you manage to learn more about psychic types. Oh, time's up already? That's okay, we'll continue next time. We can only keep getting better from here. This is to be one of the weirdest classes I've ever been in. Sure, but at least it's not boring. 
Yeah, it's not boring. It's all right. Before you know it, class is over. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Sabrina smiling is what I need. I didn't even get to talk to our movie star or Bianca, really. That's okay. I increased those bonds, and that's all that matters. The lunch table, well, next time we go to it, I think we're going to have, have like a bunch of different options this time instead of just the table with Ethan. And that concludes the lecture. Okay. It's always gym time after our first elective class. Sai, might I have your ear for a moment? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, yes, of course, Professor. Crap, I hope this isn't about what Lance said. You've been winning quite a bit against Blue, Sharon, which is a good thing, of course. But that comes with certain expectations. Your Pokemon are not improving. Huh? Well, as I said, that Mudkip of yours has been in a couple of battles now, but nothing has changed. You've been very lucky that it's following your commands. I've never seen some Pokemon so well behaved. But even the most well-behaved Pokemon is going to struggle against another twice its level. Oh, well, how do I make him stronger then? Ha! What kind of idiot doesn't know how to train a Pokemon? You don't deserve to be in this school. This motherfucker, I swear. Mr. Oak, we don't tolerate that sort of talk in the class. Besides, what's Kobukon for if not to teach people how to train Pokemon? Seems Mr. Senpai here is getting the most bang for his buck. Not to mention I've kicked your fucking phony ass. Psh, whatever, I'll be over here not wasting faculty time. Kinda feels like if he already knows everything. He's just wasting his own time then? Anyway, training, how do? You must criticize your Pokemon. Wait, what? Criticize? That's... I mean, might keep us my little buddy. I'm not sure I want to do that. Criticize might be a bit of a harsh word, but Bruno is right. You need to let your Pokemon know when they're doing poorly and when they're doing well. Otherwise, they'll just keep doing the same thing over and over and never gain any experience. But I mean, I've never done that before. I mean, I even let my Pikachu back home get on the counter. What's your dream, Sai Senpai? Um, to become a champion. Like you, sir. Well, for your sake, I hope you end up better than me. <laughs> but let me tell you something about Pokemon. They're smart, real smart. Smarter than even the professors that study them now. But they need humans to do anything with those smarts. Human and Pokemon are the perfect pair. One's got power, the other knows how to use it. Uh, not that power for power's sake is a good thing, but that's a different lecture. Well, what should I do then, sir? If your Pokemon misses a move, tell them why. If they were too slow to react, encourage them to speed up. If they don't take your foe seriously, tell them off. Don't let your Pokemon give you anything less than what you know they're capable of. How will I know what they're capable of, though? Some of that you'll have to study and learn through experience. Otherwise, your type elective class should give you an idea of what your Pokemon are capable of. You mean... Your electives will increase the maximum power your Pokemon can attain. Your battles such as in this gym will increase their actual power. I see. I'm jumping between electives, but if I focus really hard on one elective, can I make my Pokemon super strong right away? No, you still need to actually train your Pokemon up through battle. There's not much you can do to speed that up besides wait for time to pass. Your classmates will get stronger over time, so they'll be more challenging opponents who reward you more greatly if you try to beat them. I see. Wait, what happens if I train a Pokemon in battle before I've taken enough electives to know what it's capable of? If you take the elective after, that's fine. You and your Pokemon will both remember the experience. You can make use of it next to battle. Okay. One more thing. You will learn more from losing than you learn from winning. But... If you want to maintain your classmates' respect as well as your Pokemon's, don't purposely take a dive. Your battles in this class aren't graded, but we will notice if you are losing too much. Not that that should be a concern for you if you continue as you are. Anyway, your opponent for today will be this young man. I believe you're acquainted. Oh, <gasps> Silver! Oh, hey, Silver. Uh, thanks for standing up for me back there. Did you mean what you said? Huh? About getting on the battle team? No matter what? Yeah, that'll happen for me and Pikachu. And if you want it, for you too. Prove it. Ooh. Okay, let's go. What the hell? Skorupi? Cool. We're just gonna do what we always do. Straight what? Oh my gosh! 
I'm poisoned. That can't be good for anyone. So my question is, what happens? Uh, I don't have anything to heal the poison. Oh my god. No, not that. Fight. Water gun. <gasps> I lost? But, 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 but I was really close to beating him. That was bullshit. He poisoned me off the get-go. <sighs> At least Mucket leveled up to six. Thank goodness I went to the water elective and got the extra level. So now I'm going to have to probably go do that again tomorrow to get that water elective up higher so that way I can level Mudkip up even more. <sighs> That's embarrassing. That's not good enough. You need to get better if you don't want to let your Pokemon down. I know. I'm working on it. Yeah. See ya. I mean, he kicked my... That's not even fair. He, he put a status effect on me and I couldn't heal the status effect. That'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Man, I could eat a horse. I wish I could just go inside a Pokeball and not be hungry. <laughs> like a Pokemon. Although, if I did, I'm not sure how I'd get out. Alright, let's see what we got. I don't have any experience with Silver. I'm surprised. He stood up for me many times. Oh, Sharon doesn't got anything either. Romantic Table? I still don't have any with May. I'm gonna have to get some with May, guys. How in the world did they expect me to get a freaking page up? A experience point with Blue? You walk into the middle of a fervent discussion. Anyone plan to catch the baseball team's next game? I'll be playing. Ew, no. When I get a boyfriend, I've only got one criteria for him. We're not watching, going to, or talking about sports. Ever. Oh, I love baseball! It really brings back home in Utica, but I heard that it's also popular in some of the other regions. Sure, I'll watch you, Whitney. Any chance I can get some nice seats as a friend of a player? Ditto to that. Don't suppose you could split open the coupon for a friend. Fat chance. Your full price tickets pay for our bats, you cheapskates. Hey, chats. Happily as lunch passes. Okay, cool. We got some extra points. All right. I really think we need to go take the water elective again. Two hours later. And that concludes our lesson for today. Finally, Old Man Oak's always fun to listen to, and my heads are swimming after just 20 minutes of lecture. Never mind four hours. Wait, we're supposed to have a quiz, weren't we? Despite your hesitancy, everyone in the room starts to shuffle out of their seats. Not so fast, I haven't dismissed you yet. I hope you all haven't forgotten about the quizzes every Monday and Thursday. Oh, what? Whitney, you said those were on Mondays and Fridays. Oops, did I really? <laughs> oh, well, you know, if you studied, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Oh, no. Okay, class, clear your desks and take out your pencils. Today's quiz is pretty simple. Still, make sure you look at the status of your field, your opponent, and yourself before you commit to any moves. Remember, this is graded. All right, so what we got? That thing, ha oh my God, my health is like low. Uh, why, why is my health already low? Increase critical hit ratio. I'm gonna use focus energy and just hope for the best. <laughs> I fucked up. At a glance, I recommend everyone pay more attention to the status of the battlefield before committing to a move. Depending on the amount of health you have left or the amount of stat changes on you and your opponent, you might want to battle more or less aggressively. That's it for today, class. Now you're all dismissed. Finally, I'm about to ready to drop. For the first time, I don't even care about talking to Old Man Oak. I just want to get out of here. Sai, it's time. Oh my god. Come to my laboratory in the research center now, if you please. Uh... Sure thing, Professor. He's gonna tell me I lost. Not even a week and you're already in trouble? And what'd you do this time? Oh, shove off. I'm sure it's nothing. Suddenly all my tiredness has just disappeared. Anyway, he said Racer Center, right? So if I start running now, I should be able to cover the entire campus in. Use the brochure. It's got a map on it. Oh, thanks, Leaf. My, my spiritual Leaf always talks to me when I'm in doubt. Yeah, you're right, Head Leaf. Actually, Leaf's always been inviting me to go out since school started. Maybe I should invite her this time. Yeah, sure. Invite Leaf. Hey. Sai, hi. What's up? I'm driving by the research center. I was going to take a look around and have a chat with old man Oak. A while ago, you seemed surprised by how close he and I are, so I thought maybe you want to hear us chat. Oh, I'd love to go. Did you know I used to be super into science stuff when I was a kid? Mostly marine biology, but I bet the other ologies are just as cool. Cool. So you good to go? I would be, but just not today. Oh my 
May asked me to study with her after she bombed the quiz. I'm really sorry. Well, I bombed it too. You don't want to come hang out with me? Help me out. Hey, no problem. We'll do it another time. Yeah, we will. I'll come next time. I promise. Why did you have to make that facial expression as you said that? I. She is such a menace. Cool, but at least we got... But I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't done that since like the early episodes of Pokemon Academy Life that I recently did when coming back. But we finally got Lee's contact info. I, I thought we already had that. And now, next time, next to you one time you want to invite me somewhere, you can just call me. Aren't you a lucky guy? See you later, Sai. <laughs> she probably didn't invite me out in the first place because she had things to do. Well, can't say I didn't try. Anyway, I should get going. All right, we're in the research center. Is that a Bulbasaur up there? That is the most horrifying rendition of a Bulbasaur skeletal cavity I've ever seen. I'm impressed. It's like Professor Oak's lab back home, except 10 times bigger and cleaner. It makes you wonder why Professor Oak would even bother coming back to Pallet Town. Sai, is that you? The one and only. I didn't expect to see you here. Me too. Well, well, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm always here to help Nate around the lab. I mean, if not helping Sharon. Oh, Nate's here? Yeah. Anyway, what made you want to visit the research center all of a sudden? Well, old man Oak asked me to come here to talk about something. Uh, Professor Oak, I mean. Oh, neat. I'm here today because the researcher brought in a, a Magamite and Voltorb, and we're going to see how much energy they can store into a light bulb. Oh, but we're not going to use it for Lady Sleepwalker or anything. Gosh, no, that'd be awful. Oh, my gosh, she's just... Are you... Uh, yo, she's... Yo, she is hype. You can think of this as some kind of conditioning or workout routine for Pokemon like Magamite or Robot. I heard there's somewhere that they technically don't have any muscle fibers or whatever. You see, let's just build up the natural affinity there. Yo, B, are you running the ears off another guest? You gotta slow it down, B. I'm never gonna get another assistant if you keep blocking off the door with your wall of text. You don't need another assistant, though. You have me. You're a part-time. Much as I love to have all your attention to myself, I know you've got a thing going on with Sharon. Now, I don't mind sharing, but I think Sharon might. Oh, so we just got some info here. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> Sai, right? Good to have you here. I see you and Bianca know each other already. Yeah, Bianca's grabbed me a couple of times for sharing. Cool, cool. Anyway, let me welcome you to the research center. There's not much here for the average student though, but if you're trying to do something with big computers or run an experiment, this is the place. Well, which of those categories are you in? Observant, huh? I'm here to uh, use the computers, basically. Networking stuff. They give me like, Kobukan's unpaid unknown IT guy. Yeah, Nate's a super genius. He knows how to code and hack and slash and debug and defrag and defilerate and defenestrate and be. Let's not talk too much more, all right? Okay. Sorry about that, S. Really, I'm just a simple tech guy. So if you have a toaster that needs fixing, that's got stuff I can do. You got your phone out? Okay. Oh, that's for me. Sorry, guys. Step out for a sec. S and B. Yo, you called me by my first letter. I mean, I'm, I ain't go mad. I'm mad, mad at that. It's pretty cool. See you around. Yes, of course, sir. It's all on. Oh, all right, Nate. Nate's always being pulled off by phone calls. Then he gets super serious for a couple minutes. Then he's back to normal. Okay. So, how'd you meet? I figured you and Sharon were childhood friends, but now it looks like you and Nate are too? Yep, actually Sharon and I are from New Vima Town. Then we moved to Aspertidia and met Nate. Nate was barely ever home though. I think I've talked to him more in the last four days than I ever had before. So, you don't actually know him all that well? But you're helping him with his ambiguous computer stuff? I guess not, and I guess so. And the whole thing about being here every day is, I've been here every day of the school year so far. Hmm, well uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Yay! Oh, you said you wanted to see Professor Oak, right? He's down the hallway to the left. Hey, thanks. No problem! Ah, Sai. Good, you're here. And I do see that you are playing your traditional professor-ish music. Hey, Sam. I'm glad we finally get to talk. Now, what did you want to talk about? Let me ask you the question with a question, lad. What do you think we have to talk about? My place in this academy. Yes, I imagine that you would think it would be necessary for us to discuss this. Sam, please just give me a straight answer. Why am I here? Why didn't you tell me you'd be here? I'll give you an answer, Sai. But, oh shit. But you're going to have to work for it. Oh, professor, please let me battle again. I got my ass kicked twice in a row. I just don't think I can take another beat down. Yeah, all right. Classic Samuel, move right there. You never just hand anything over, do you? No. No, I do not. 
Okay, here are the facts. I am a Kobokan Academy and you teach here. You didn't tell me, even though you would have had plenty of time to. So you didn't want me to know. However, you knew how much getting into Kobokan meant to me. And you knew that if I knew you were working here, I'd ask for your help getting in. So you didn't want me to ask for your help. That means you either didn't want me to have to help me, or you didn't want me to ask for help. Oh, duh! Now I get it. You didn't want me to ask for your help getting in because then you'd have to choose between recommending Blue or me. Completely wrong, actually. Damn! <laughs> I thought I was hitting something. What? Lad, I never had any intention of recommending my grandson to this school. What? But, 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 but why not? Do your best to answer that question, then I will give you my answer. Ugh. This again. Alright, let me get the vignette. Well, you figured he could get into the school without your help, and you wanted to give him confidence. Let him know that he doesn't need to rely on your name? Once again, entirely incorrect. Th then why? Why don't you try to answer that? Then, just answer the question, Sam! Well? I do not believe my grandson deserves his spot in the school. What? He is arrogant, cruel, and utterly refuses to learn, even from his betters. Further, though, I've tried. I barely have a relationship with the boy. He calls me on holidays where I'm expected to send him money, and that's it. His skill at training Pokemon is undeniable, but that does not excuse his callous disregard for everyone but himself. Unfortunately, I know all too well where he's gotten these traits from. I was not the best father to his father. But even so, in any case, lad, Blue was not a consideration in my silence on this matter. Then you didn't tell me because you were going to recommend me anyway? There we go. But Sam, I spent so much time writing those letters and applying and worrying about whether I'd get in. Well, if I told you that I was going to recommend you, perhaps you wouldn't have tried so hard. In any case, you're 18, out of school and unemployed. I can't imagine that wasted time would have been put to good use. Did I make you miss a daily run or two? Yes, actually. Hardly something worth caring about at this junction, I imagine. You could be a bit more empathetic. Not with how limited my time is. Speaking of, you know you now have enough evidence, I believe, to answer your first question. Why are you here? Think it through. I'm here because you recommended me. But wait. Kubakan is prepared to teach a complete newbie to Pokemon training, but it still demands that you have a high grade when it comes to math, science, literature, and a life outside school too. I don't. There's no way I could have gotten in with just your recommendation. You forced me in somehow. Yes, and this how is not something that will be relevant, so you can end your train of thought there. Then why? <sighs> Never mind, you'll just tell me to figure it out. True. So there had to be some reason you wanted to have me at the school. If it's not grades, not extracurriculars, what do I have? Oh, it's my memory, right? Being able to memorize every Pokemon and all their stats and moves and stuff. No, it's related, but most of the professors at the school have done that. Further, it's nothing that anyone with a Pokedex couldn't do. Of course, your aptitude at memorization, of all things, is rather impressive. Most people have to use a Pokedex for that. So having it all memorized is convenient. Though I seem to recall that wasn't your choice. Yeah, I really wanted a Pokedex, but neither my mom nor I were trainers, so it didn't seem worth it to drop the money on it. Well, I take your memorization as proof my decision not to give you a Pokedex was the right one. Wait, you didn't give me a Pokedex on purpose? Now, lad, next guess? Hmm. Oh, it's a Pokemon thing, is it? Like, the way they're all calm around me? Ah, so you picked up on that. Well, that's partially correct, but it's more a symptom of a larger reason. This conversation could have been an email. <laughs> I mean, it could have been. Well, lad? Please, Sam, I get that you're smart. Everyone else does too. You're literally world famous for it. Please just tell me. Very well. You are aware that the focus of my research has been Pokemon and human relationships, yes? Well, you represent a breakthrough, something that could further the bonds between Pokemon and human more than ever before. Lad, I believe you may possess a special ability. Huh? Like a Pokemon ability? Very much like that, yes. My colleague in Sinnoh has some interesting theories about the commonalities of Pokemon and Pokemon ancestry. Incidentally, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, 
I'm talk am I taking crazy pills or humans can have abilities? That's just not a thing, right? I mean, am I wrong? The answer to that question has been the subject of my research for almost two decades. Certainly there are more many documented cases of human beings with psychic powers, as we saw earlier with Sabrina and the psychic class. Some have been known to talk to Pokemon or heal their injuries without a touch. Others demonstrate extreme physical strength beyond the norm, and others have brain power that exceeds our understanding of anatomy. The answer I'm arriving at is, at is well, yes, Psy. Psy, people in Pokemon like you, instantly from the moment they lock eyes with you, they want to know you. I call this ability friend energy. That it does not even remotely sound freaking per like professional, but hey, I mean, Professor Oak's a genius. We can't really doubt what he thinks. Isn't that just normal? It's hard to say, in my reclusive life as an academic, then researcher, I can certainly say people don't tend to initiate conversations with me, but that could easily be my own failing. I'm sorry, Professor, I don't think you're right about this. I don't have some kind of superpower, some kind of aura. I just go up to people, introduce myself, and ask their name. It's really that simple. Lad, the difference between you and other people is far greater than can be explained by simple extroversion. No. I maintain my hypothesis is correct, and unless the data proves me wrong, I intend to maintain it. The data? What are you- <gasps> That's why! You brought me here to test your theory! Not because of anything I can do or what I deserve, just because you wanted to prove yourself, right? Uh, yes. I don't understand why are you upset with me. Why am I upset? I'm upset because- Well, there. Slow down, Sai. You know, you know you need to be patient with Sam. I'm upset, Sam, because it sounds like you don't think I deserve to be here. That you just brought me here so you can answer your own personal questions. I mean, that's what it looks like. I mean, it sounds pretty messed up, don't it? I don't know if you deserve to be here, and neither do you. No one does until you graduate or fail. <sighs> yeah, all right. You're right, of course. Well, how can I help you in your research then? Graduate. In four days, you've been introduced to more people than you knew in your entire life in Palatow. If my hypothesis is correct, by the time you graduate, you should have a great many friends and a team of strong, loyal Pokemon. Simple enough. Sam, if you are right, does that mean I'm mind-controlling people to like me? I thought you might be concerned about that, so I made sure to discover the answer to that before there were ever a chance I'd tell you about my theory. No, lad. Far from it. Rather, your true feelings become apparent to anyone you talk with. It's more than wearing your heart on your sleeve. It's giving your heart to another. People in Pokemon subconsciously know how you feel, and even when you're thinking, to a certain degree, and because of that, they know you're just a friendly boy that's safe to be around. In any case, I hypothesize this is an ability that would be actively detrimental in the hands of anyone who wasn't as kind as you, and useless to anyone who wasn't as outgoing. I repeat, this is not my control, nor does it make people like you, it just means your intentions won't be misunderstood, and then you tell the truth, people believe it. In a world where everyone wants something out of someone else, and no one says it what they mean, being able to know the intentions of the person you're talking to is reassuring. Wow, so my Pokemon don't freak out because they know I'm going to try and control them or abuse them or be a jerk, basically? That's my theory. Based on that special Pikachu I gave you and how I've seen wild Pokemon interact with you, the effect seems especially pronounced on Pokemon. What if, like, what if I were to lie to someone then? Would they believe then too? Lad, when was the last time you lied to anyone about anything? <laughs> Fair enough. Don't worry about things that won't happen, though if you must, I theorize that people are far more likely to disbelieve your lies. I guess. Still feels kind of uncomfortable though, like I'm getting an oh shit, like I'm getting an unfair advantage in life. Then feel free to put it out of your mind. Ignore my ramblings. Assume you're a bog standard student and just do your best at the school that you've gotten to fairly and squarely. Can't really do that now. Well, there you have it then. Now I really must be getting back to work. Wait. Yes, lad. Not everyone likes me. I met a couple of trainers on my first day here. I told them about my circumstances here, and they're pretty clearly lost interest. But that's not all. Oh? Yeah, there's a girl in one of my elective classes, Sabrina. She told me to stay away from her. Hmm, that makes sense. I'm feel familiar with her. The Esper, yes? I believe that her situation is unique. She probably doesn't even notice your own subtle epithet ability, given how stronger her own telepathy is. 
Okay, well that's one explanation, but there's another person. There's Lance, uh, Mr. Lance, I guess. He's got seriously angry at me. Oh, now I'm sure that's not true. Lance is stern and stubborn, but I'm sure it's far from ability to dislike a promising young student such as yourself. Guess all my note wasn't there for the battle exhibition then. Well, there's one more. Blue, he hates me, always has. My grandson is a statistical anomaly. Well, within the margin of error, and if I'm to prove my hypothesis of 18 years correct, not worth considering. Hmm, I feel kind of bad for Blue. Never I hear how his grandfather talks about him, but it's not like he doesn't deserve it. Well, I guess I've got one more question then. How am I gonna pay for Cobacon? My first tuition payment is due in six months. Uh, to be honest, lad, I didn't think of that. Uh. What? Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. I got six months. Bro, I got six months. Does that mean I got six months to graduate? All right, guys, that was another strapping round of Pokemon Academy Life. Again, sorry that you guys didn't see the previous progression up to this point. Audio messed up on the recording. I mean, it happens. Um, but in hindsight, you saw what happened today. We just got told from Oak what our purpose at KobuCon was. And I have to say for a fact, I'm pretty happy seeing where this story goes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the kind of display today. And subscribe today for more quality content. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one.